Also making headlines tonight, the oldest operating black book club in the, the U.S. is right here in New Jersey. News 12 New Jersey Naomi Yane met with members of Bibliophiles. She's live tonight with more on this story. Hi, Naomi. Hey there, Brittany. And what started as a book club back in 1988 by two black women, the Bibliophiles Incorporated, an African-American reading club, has grown into an organization with a much deeper meaning, rooted in the love of literature with a purpose of preserving the literature of the African diaspora. <laughs> you can see he didn't want to be involved. 34 years ago, Joyce Harley co-founded the Bibliophiles after being deeply moved by Toni Morrison's novel, Beloved. And it touched our soul, and we couldn't stop talking about it with each other, with our friends. And we realized that we needed to gather people together to talk about this book because it meant so much to us. Yeah. The Bibliophiles are the oldest continuously operating and incorporated black book club in America. We've read everything, and we have formed not just a tribe of people who love the literature of the African diaspora, but we formed a sisterhood. Today I got to talk to just a few of the women who make up the bibliophiles. The group is comprised of women from differing professions with a mutual interest in reading, sharing, promoting, and preserving the literature of the African diaspora. We find that the books that we select just reveal so much more about us as a people here in this country, about our ancestors who came from Africa and what they endured coming here. The Bibliophiles are an extremely organized group that meets every other month. They have an executive board and a process for book selections that happens every November and lays out the plan for the coming year. Books are presented and then we vote. And the top vote getters are the books we read for the coming year. Oh, absolutely. The bibliophiles say those who forget their history are doomed or destined to repeat it. And that's why it's important for the group to honor and recognize the keepers of the culture. That's the richness of what we mm -hmm. do. We recognize that we are African Americans, but that there is a plethora of works by others everywhere in Latin America, on the continent of Africa, etc. And we welcome them. And like many things in today's world, COVID has interrupted the way they gather. They used to meet at each other's homes and now they hold meetings virtually, but that's actually allowed for any members who have moved away to be able to join in and keep this sisterhood going. I'll send it back inside to you guys. A true tribe, Naomi. Thank you for that story tonight. Now, if you're looking for new reads for Black History Month, we've got some suggestions on the News 12 app for you, including this list of 25 books you just have to check out.